Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait, this is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau, the one we wanted to talk to. By the enlightened, look at this body. These people have killed an Inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. I doubt it. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy, but I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. And we didn't think that the Anol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Stop! This one is different, and we need their help. We were told that there was a man different from the other in Ixe amongst the Lugay and Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous. But I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaig say do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This warrior isn't wrong, even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminous continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Go back to town. We'll wait for you here. We need to know where they are taking our brothers.
locked. I have no qualms rummaging through the secrets of the living, but the dead on the other hand. I feel like I'm desecrating a tomb. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. The key we found must open this chest. Let's leave. Let's go and see what it contains. It's a key, most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Hey, you! Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius' home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? To be truthful, my friend is only accompanying me. I am the one who was visiting this home, precisely because I was hoping to find out where Father Claudius might be. I was sent by the Cardinal Mother, of course. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you want us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This snake gave up too quickly. I suspect that we'll soon meet our new friend again. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope the warriors will find a discreet way to set their comrades free. 
Attacking a camp of the Order could quickly turn into a slaughter for both sides. So, did you discover anything? I did. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. And that a missionary as eminent as you has helped him, Petrus. I would never have thought it possible. The Ordo Luminous is prepared to start waging a merciless war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting them in a secret camp which is nothing but a torture room. <laughs> and you dare to show such disdain towards me? <laughs> I take it as a compliment. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. It would be best if nobody in Teleme caught wind of our involvement in this matter. Even though the actions of the Order are very questionable, we might be held responsible for these men's deaths. You're right, Father. It would be regrettable if this matter were to put our alliance in jeopardy. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. 
were tear to mud on all Menawi. And thanks again. May the shadow engulf our enemies! Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? With pleasure. Let's see what adventure she has in store for us. <laughs> 